once or twice a week, I try to do good deeds. I'm on my Instagram, as I usually am, and I got a call from a kid, has size 19, can't afford shoes, don't know where to get them. I know where to get them. 1989, San Antonio, Texas, on an army base. I had one pair of shoes the whole year till I met Bruce. A friend told Shaq's dad to call Bruce, who specializes in supersized shoes. Bet you didn't know there was a market for that, did you? So good old Bruce hooked the young Shaq up with a new pair for free. And that was before he was famous. Ooh. Boy, let me get some of these. Over the years, Shaq has paid him back by buying over 2,000 pairs of shoes and counting. You got some size 19s for the kit? Yes. OK. What's up, homie? How are you? What's your name? Brittany. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'll take, care. I'll take care of your stuff today. Thank you so much. Yeah, 10 <laughs> pair, so whatever you need. This mom reminded me of my mom. Because whenever I see a single black female and a child, that was me and my mama. I used to wear one pair of shoes for three years straight. I used to wear 13, 14, 15, but I used to squeeze my feet in a size 13. Then I have to come home and wash them and make them look brand new so when I go to school, kids don't talk crazy about what I have to fight. So I, 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 I know the struggle and I don't forget the struggle. And who's that, that's grandma? Well, that's your other foot too. That's grandma? We're gonna come to us in Grandma kind of fine, cuz. <laughs> when is prom, grandma? Is it coming out? He has a dance for dance this Friday. Oh, wow, that's And this is what you're walking in with. I don't care what you're talking about. Yeah. All right, hook him up. You like them? All right, and I'm going to give you some money for a suit, too. I'm going to give you some money for a suit. Yeah, she's going to take you in a suit. Walking that thing like this. Give him the water. Ooh, let me see, let me see. Ooh. Listen, if the dance started at 8, show up at 8.15. <laughs> You got a girlfriend? I'm about to say you will on Friday when you walk in on their ass. <laughs> See me before you leave. Nobody else can reach it. How much? It is 68.43.28. For everything? No, but, but I bought him a 10 pair too. That's it? So long, Bruce. Love you. Shack to School is a program with Zappos and Amazon that gives school supplies to over 5,000 kids in need so they can start their own journey to dreamful attraction. Well, first you got to tell me what you want to be when you grow up. I will be the best president. I'm going to give you some presidential music first. Dun, 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 Kids gravitate to me because I am the simple gateway. When kids see me, they're just like, I can relate to Shaq. He's silly. If you don't pay attention, you will miss it. <laughs> you didn't even see it, did you? And I can give him a secret. Huddle up. So I don't say this out loud. You know how I made $900 million? Just by listening to my mommy and daddy. Make sure you always listen to your parents. Got it? Yeah. Serious, I'm not playing. Okay. All right? You don't tell nobody else my secret. I'll see you next time. All right, remember what I said. It's not rocket science, people. Let's go. Shaq has come up with a new marketing campaign for Papa John's Pizza. No phony actors, no fake sets. My man is keeping it real and reaching directly out to the people. Would you like a free pizza? Oh, my God. What's your name? Terry. Hello, Miss Terry. I own the Papa John's around the corner. It's a free pizza for you and your family. Thank you. You doing okay? Yes. All right, give me a hug. We have to let the people know that, hey, new guy in town. Changes will be made. This is what's going on. Let yeah, everybody know I own that Papa John's around the corner, brother. All right, thank you. So we came up with a commercial. Jack, you want to try coat on this one? Yes, let me try coat on. Not bad, not bad. You want to climb ladder? This one? Nah. <laughs> nah. Boys and Girls Club, I got your pizza. Because even though I'm Shaq, I'm still a regular person when I go home. You're here today, Norman. I know. So if I'm sitting watching a guy named Shaq on a commercial, how would I want to see that? Get your pizza, man. You know I got to take care of the veterans, baby. 
I need Shaq to get the word out on some of these movies I'm making. Everybody knows Shaq. Well, almost everybody. Excuse me, are you Michael Jordan? No, I'm better than Michael Jordan. My name is Shaq O'Neal. Hi. And I'm giving out free pizza. Is that, is that your mom? That's grandma. Okay, ask grandma, can you take pizza from me? Can we take pizza? Okay. Uh, I'm the pizza delivery guy. Thank you. Okay, and make sure you always listen to grandma, okay? okay. Thank you. All uh, right, you know my name now? It's not Michael Jordan. It's Shaq O'Neal. I'm way better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> Got it? Because okay. I'm handing out free pizza, okay? Thank you. All right, nice to see Thank you, grandma. You. Thank you. Oh, you know Michael Jordan? Yes, I'm better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> May, hey, me llamo El Padrino Negro, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, Shaquille O'Neal. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. You got that? Wow. Awesome. What's this, Apple Store? Oh, it is. Oh, Brian. It's a keyboard. It's all gushy. Some downtime can be the right time to put things in perspective. Shaq knows most people have far greater problems than a bad night in the DJ booth. Alex, what you doing, showing him why? Yeah, he didn't know who you were, uh -huh. so I showed him a video. And Shaq hasn't forgot what it's like to be that kid who dreamed of a better life. A little black kid that's struggling and window shopping. That's most African-American kids. We don't grow up with silver spoons. Girl said those kids come by every day, get a look, they have a quest for knowledge, and they don't bother people. And that was me and my cousin. That was me and my little brother. You got two of these? Two of these. Two? Yeah. He does it all the time. This one? Michael yes. Scare. Yeah, yeah, he's good now. Ultimate goal is to get a school, maybe put my mother's name on it. We just want to help people out. We just want to do the right thing. Tell these dudes I'm buying these for these kids. Mira, esa computadora se la compra a los niños. Mira, los dos, los dos tienen una computadora igual que esta. The problems we have in America are tough, especially racism. So, I want every race of little babies just playing. Black, green, white kids, with Chinese, Asian, that'll be. My mother would cry. That's awesome. It makes me realize that there's a bigger picture than just, you know, the, the, this whole music thing. Everything we're doing is to basically bring joy to people. It doesn't matter if it's just to help someone out or it's just a, a music festival. It's like, just like those tiny moments of happiness is what it really is. I mean, that's pretty much what we live for. At least that's what it is for me now. This bro. Hungry, big man? How many you want? One or two? This one? Okay. Yeah, right here, got a Lakers touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I come from a place where I had nothing. And just because I have more than the average guy doesn't mean I'm better than the average guy. There's people out here working their ass off, people that work way harder than me, who live check to check. Those are the people that run the country. I'm just a guy that's very lucky. After his successful show in Sardinia, Shaq was greeted with his very own welcoming party, a special needs basketball squad that reps Italy and looks to Shaq as inspiration. Hello, hello, hello. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Let's see, take a picture. Un applauso. Un applauso. Three applause. Uh, uh, uno applause. Uh, Dos applause. Uh, 
Tres plazas. Cuatro plazas. Entusiasmo. Entusiasmo. They were beautiful. They were just sitting there joking, laughing. They play basketball. They want okay. to be like you. There are a lot of guys uh, like uh, them in Sardinia. Okay. It reminds me that you have to fight through the trials and tribulations in life. I want you to continue to go out and have fun and play basketball. Love Sardinia. Love my team. People know me. They know what I'm about. Makes me feel good, and you know I'm, I'm blessed. Yeah. Uh, Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. Applause for Applause. I don't have to let you know how many rings I won, how much I made. What can I do to make you smile? No, Papa, Papa. Oh, Papa. Hold on. This Papa. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Feels good to be the Diesel. Well, look at that. Turns out people show. Damn. People love them some mother Jack. We're good, Perry. We're micromanager. I got it. I got it. We're good. Well, Papa John's and Shaq were having a uh, block party. And I'm just glad that people came out and we, you know, we're just having a good time. I got you. I'll be here. I got you. All right. Open up, open up. You want an autograph? You got to eat nine slices of pizza. And how has Shaq brought y'all back? One of the things that athletes fail to do is give back to the community. And for Shaq to come in, pick up a Papa John's, and everything that Papa John's went through, people shouldn't attack Shaq at all for that. Of course, in the moment I was done with Papa John's, I mean, Shaq being a uh, franchisee of it now definitely changes it a little bit for me. Like, I like Papa John's. You know, you get the African community back on board, give him a fresh new look, you know. Get old boy out of there, first of all, get him up out of there. Hey, he brought me back. Yeah, brought I mean, me back too. It was working. Give me that shot. You the man. <laughs> you make it, you get a hundred dollars. Take your time. Go. Damn it. Wait. All right, go. Ah! Ah! Here. Give that to your mama. For Shaq, family matters mean everything. And I ain't talking about Steve Irk. I'm talking about the family matters of Shaq providing for the people he cares most about, his loved ones. That's for you, because I love you. I, I, I saw one of my companies got some extra change. That ain't for bills. That's, that's for you to just. That's right, you want to go buy one of them, one of them new Rolls Royce trucks? Go on. No? Yeah, go get you one. <laughs> We have a Rolex GMT. It's also known as the Pepsi. Let's have some fun. I have three people at 15. Let's start it off. 15, then they give it to you 16. 17, then they give it to you 18, then they give it Guys, they're going for 25,000 if you can get one. 17, then they give it to you 18. 19, try one, make sure you get it. And they give it to you 20,000. 10, 20, they give it to you 20, they give it to you 20. Thank you, sir. 20,000, then we got 21, 1, 3, 21. Don't be shy, son. Your daddy can afford it. Raise that hand high. Put your hand up. 21. 21. It's his watch. I like that. So, $21,000. I tried to raise the uh, auction prices and end up buying him a damn Rolex. I can actually have it. Huh? I can actually have it. Good. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Shaq. Better hope your other kids don't see this. I can hear them right now. So why did Sharif get a $20,000 Rolex and I don't? Hey, totally unrelated, but if I raise my hand, can I get a new Porsche? You came with an empty wrist, too? Yeah. <laughs> like you knew it was meant for me. Uh, Snoop, Theo, Double G. Uh, I'm here with the person who is in charge that can get you that general commercial. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I had a meeting with the general and I've been getting bugged by my homie Snoop. He's like, man, I want to do a general commercial. I want to do a general commercial. What's happening? How can I get in one city? <laughs> you, you, you just got to keep singing that jingle for me. Just like that. I'm with you, baby girl. I told you I'm a big fan of the general. I, I love it. And it was, so I want to get in one city and I want to be down with it. OK. Well, I got a lot of people that have been crashing their cars. Pull <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, up. Let me know what the next step is. 
I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give her your number if uh, you don't mind. All right. I bet y'all can smell Snoop's wacky tobacco through the cell phone. With Shaq struggling to get the crowd into the show, Shaq decided to go into the crowd. Big dog, now you're bringing them back. DJ is not about DJ Diesel, it's about you. I want you to have a good time. You gave me your money, I'm gonna give you your money's worth. No bother. Yes, yes. We get a lot of emails and letters, I appreciate it. That's what it's all about. You can want to take a picture of anybody, you can want to autograph with anybody. You choose me, and I take it as a badge of honor. What can I do to make you smile?